Hi, my name is David Maltich, and today we're going to talk to you about 90 degree elbows, specifically elbows like this, and how they affect or change the way a fan performs. Let's talk a little bit about safety. Even though we're not at a job site, we're not at a factory, we are still operating a rotating piece of equipment and we're moving air and that air can contain dust particles. So we want to make sure that we have safety glasses on while we're doing our presentation. Thanks a lot. All right, let's move on to the demonstration. But before we actually do the demo, let's talk about the equipment. We got a centrifugal fan, open inlet, allows for uniform loading of the wheel with air, rectangular around transition, round piece of ductwork, pitot tube, record the amount of pressure the fan's generating, and we have a damper to help generate about one inch of resistance and inches of water gauge, or about 250 pascals. And then we have a little visual meter so that you can see what's happening, and two sections of ductwork. One open, one vein. Let's see how these change the way a fan performs. So the first elbow we have is just pure 90 degree elbow. Nothing special about it, just bends air, nothing inside. Let's put it on the fan and see what happens. Putting it on the fan, notice a couple of things. One is the performance went down pretty substantially, and you can see that on the meter. Secondly is you can also hear the fan got louder. And what we have to remember is air has mass, and that mass wants to go in a straight line. So it comes in uniformly, hits the bottom of the ductwork, and moves into the fan. The top portion of the wheel doesn't get any air all the air is going down to the bottom portion of the wheel. And that's what's causing the turbulence and the additional noise and the loss of performance. Take a little pen, we can actually see what's kind of happening. Again, air enters the fan uniformly, kind of forgive my drawing, did not go to art school. Air comes straight down and then bends over at the bottom. So that's how the air is entering the fan. This area here, a little pseudo cloud, there is no air. So again, when we put it on the fan, performance goes down, sound increases, air comes down, hits the bottom, bends 90 degrees over, top portion of the wheel doesn't get any air, it's starved. We can correct that by breaking the section of ductwork into multiple pieces. Here we have a single vein. So the vein cuts the duct in half. Sorry, let's bend it this way. So air, or the vein actually kind of bends like this. And now we have a top section of the duct and we have a bottom section of the duct. And that function breaking into two, air bends along here. So we can now load the mid top section of the fan wheel. Air comes in here and we load the bottom section of the fan wheel. And see how the performance changes. Putting this on the fan, you can see that the performance still went down, but it didn't go down as substantially as what it did with the non-sectioned elbow. Secondly, sound didn't go up as much either. So it went up a little bit, but not nearly as dramatic as it did here. And that's because we don't have as much turbulent flow going into the fan. Thanks, and let's move on to our final thoughts. Let's talk a little bit about our final thoughts. Open inlet, straight run ductwork, that's the way a fan wants to perform. However, obstructions such as walls or other things, piping, can oftentimes result in the need for a 90 degree elbow. If you have a 90 degree elbow, vein section performs better than a non-vein section. However, if we have abrasives going through the gas stream that can eat away at this vein, we have long straining materials such as um, an application such as paper trim that can get hung up on this vein as well. The key thing to remember is with a vein section or non-vein section is that the fan performance has to be compensated for. If you don't compensate for that, the fan will underperform and you'll have a system that actually underperforms as well. Thanks a lot. Questions, comments, put in the section below. We'll get right back to you. If there's other videos you'd like to see us make, let us know as well and we'll get right on that. Thanks a lot.